This is Mr. Paulus' favorite spot in Carswell, State Beach. He loves this area. Paulus Any luck? How you start fishing? Started fishing uh, over here around seven this morning here because uh, I only climb on the rocks when you know it's uh, light for safety and when it's still dark I want to go on the rocks. Is that another rock? And one of my favorite baits uh, for fishing open eye is usually using uh, either green peas or I use a uh, night crawlers and this, so this one when it was still dark I was fishing on the surf and I, I caught one yellowfin croaker and so this morning just off the uh, rocks in front of here I caught uh, one uh, opal eye and by the beginning of the uh, jetty over there I caught like uh, two uh, opal eyes but there was less than 10 inches so I threw them all back How will you start fishing? I've been fishing about uh, three years now and uh, a long time ago when a lot of my friends, you know, my tennis uh, partners, they, they often talk about fishing a lot and so it always intrigued me and but, you know, I had no knowledge about fishing and they, they used to catch a lot of fish, you know, off La Jolla shores, you know, the La Jolla coast and so it, I've always been real curious, but uh, I didn't know, you know, uh, how to start. So then my friend uh, Aman, three years ago, he invited me to go fishing with him, you know, um, doing a surf fishing in La Jolla. And so this way I all started. And so the first year I didn't catch much. And then so I started catching more fish through the last two years. And, um, and one of the you know, YouTube channels I learned a lot from, from the GLHA Fishing. So a lot learned from a lot from um, where you can go, all the spots in San Diego. So I was very, uh, I was very uh, intrigued and, and uh, so I learned a lot from your uh, YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mr. Paul is the one uh, teach me to use uh, fish bites because I didn't know fish bites before. And uh, then uh, uh, Mr. Polo is the one who uh, told me the fish bite. After that, I learned to use uh, fish bite, uh, but this thanks to Mr. Polo. So if everyone could use fish bite, you can teach me and then I put it on my video also. How did you know about fish bite? Oh, because um, a lot of my uh, friends, you know, like Aman and, and, and other friends, they started using fish bites to try it and they were successful from catching um, a lot of the yellowfin croakers and then the spotfin croakers uh, so and then they were using primarily at the uh, uh, Coronado uh, State Beach you know like uh, so and they were, they were pretty successful with that and so I started using that also at Crystal Pier and I started catching a lot of uh, croakers with that on the pink pipe? On the fish bite, oh, yes. My, yeah. On the fish bite, yes. Yeah, this year uh, everyone start on the very use fish bite. I, I think in summer, the first time I post fish bite, it, it was a shrimp, uh, the easy shrimp, and uh, I got the yellow fin. 
but the people start giving us the 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 easy cream cream bike. But the, that one, Mr. Polo gave me a bag, and Mr. Uh, Aman gave me uh, some pieces of the pig white also. Then I got the blood work pig white, and the, we start getting spot pink. So is that uh, a lot of people start fishing because it's easier, right, Mr.? Yes, when the fish bites, uh, it stays on the hook longer, and also it's more economical because uh, with fish bites, you can. You know, go uh, travel in, in your backpack and you don't have to worry about smelling or anything like that and you can basically catch fish, you know, uh, both the East Coast and West Coast. <laughs> My friend George calls it uh, clean uh, blood worm. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so, so I've been using um, uh, the, the flavors I've been using were blood worms. I've been using uh, the sand crab flavor and I was using the shrimp flavor. Wow, which one works better? Um, recently, I've been I've been I've used uh, for yellowfin croaker has been I've been used a lot of the, the shrimp flavor for for, but for um, sargos and for spotted croaker and, and the blood worms uh, seem to be the best. It's better, huh? Yes. Yeah, there's uh, my friend Gustavo. He caught a uh, sargo on fish bite this year, which. I'm glad because uh, some people didn't believe me on this bike. But uh, after Mr. Polo teach me, now everyone uses it. So that I'm glad that it's easier because uh, before we wake up very easy to get bait. Yeah. So what's the biggest fish you caught? Uh, what was the biggest fish? Okay, the the biggest fish I caught was actually um, uh, about two weeks ago at Crystal Pier. And uh, it was a spotting croaker. And, uh, the largest size was uh, 27 inches, but uh, but the the heaviest one I caught it uh, in uh, also at Crystal Pier in uh, the beginning of June, and that one was like uh, five pounds of spot fin. Oh my God! Yeah, and uh, the biggest uh, open I caught over here. Uh, it's a 17 inch and hopefully I can beat that uh, this uh, fall winter season and hopefully I can get some bigger the 17 inch was actually I caught right in the beginning at the at this uh, uh, jetty here the opoli grows super big the, the biggest one I saw in my life was 28 and 36 inches so super big in the uh, ocean cycle so, Mr. Polo, uh, at the Crystal Pier, did you see spot fin croaker before? This year is the most. Um, in fact, uh, last year I didn't. I I don't recall I caught any spot fin last year. And uh, but this year, uh, I don't know why, but there has been like you know, you know like uh, I've been catching croaker uh, spot fin croakers uh, quite a lot this year. And each time when I go out searching specifically for a spot fin, I've been catching them. Oh. Uh. Yeah, because people say that there is no spot in a crystal pit. Yeah, I, I, I find a lot of those. Uh, um, the, every week I've been catching about anywhere from uh, 2 to 5 yeah. over there. Uh, but uh, I went yesterday, and, but the whole uh, crystal pit was full of seaweed. seaweed. So I couldn't catch anything yesterday. Yeah. But uh, also it's getting tougher because the water is getting colder. But uh, uh, amazingly, I've still been able to catch them. And my record for um, spot pin this year has been uh, nine spot pins at Torrey Pines State Beach. Using um, half are biting on ghost rip and half are biting on blood worms. Blood worms. Yes. Mixing with fish bites. Yes. <laughs> the wave starting now. The wave starting to be strong. Okay, we should follow that up. That's a bass! That was a bass? That's a huge bass! I think it will open your uh, rope. Yeah, yeah, too small of a bass! You got a huge fish and uh, I saw I saw the fish. It was yeah, a huge yeah. bass. That was a big bass! But, uh, but the hook is small! Yeah, the hook is too small. I think it opened it. Huh? It opened the hook. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Straight yeah. out, yeah. The hook straight yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why the bass is. So, Mr. Polo, did you have any bad experience with the modern fishermen? Well, uh, sometimes, like uh, you know, when they take your spots, right? And uh, so, and that's usually, uh, yeah, but that's, that's usually not a good experience, you know. But uh, and when you secure a nice spot, and then. You, you step away a little bit and then they come and take a spot so that's uh but that's how that's how fishing goes yeah uh -huh. if you want to change something from fishing what would be like uh, the way to fish or uh, any rules or species or oh like for me like uh like a, a curse appear you know like uh it's only to open like the sun Right to sunset. So if that could, if they could make it 24 hours, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, same for Ocean Side Pier. They only open uh, at the day and close uh, three hours only at yeah. the night. So uh, I, I was fishing there for a long time. Also, the make pier 24 hours would be the best. Yeah. So I hope that one day the city gonna. I'm gonna open the ocean step here again for 24 hours. That, uh, it's, it's the only place that people can go away from the city. Okay, we go last question for Mr. Polo. He has to be. So, Mr. Polo, so is fishing healthy? Yes, uh, it's mentally, it's very healthy because uh, in a, the ocean contains a lot of negative ions. And negative ions, you know. It's known to uh, have a lot of uh, good benefits for mental health and also physical health. And there's a lot of uh, documentation that you know it also it's, it, it's also uh, the uh, it can be also like a uh, anti uh, anti cancer also. And so um, the, the negative ions are usually created when the waves are bouncing and it creates negative ions. And you probably also get also the, the waterfall also. So uh, and. Uh, Usually we have strong weight, you have a lot of good uh, iron. I fish with the bottom. I have a fish. Yeah, he has a fish. Slow, 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 slow. Oh yeah! Ah. He lost it again. That was huge. Huge up He's a very, very nice guy. Uh, always uh, likes to fish in different spots. But this is one of his favorite spots that I always seem to hear. And uh, I meet Mr. Polo on the Crystal Pier. And then uh, we were fishing a bit on the Oceanside Pier, but he said he didn't have uh, a luck at the Oceanside Pier and it's far from San Diego. But uh, he likes uh, Carlsbad. So what you can uh, tell people, Mr. Polo, like uh, new fishermen, or so what you recommend them? Well, um, when you go to the rocks, uh, fishing like here, bring some extra leaders because you will need them, and extra sinkers because uh, uh, you get a lot of your lines stick sticking. But you know, uh, uh, it's rewarding because you know it makes it makes you more efficient in catching fish, and. Uh, so fishing is very healthy, you know, it's, uh, it, it relaxes you and uh, it's, uh, it also brings you back down to, you know, the old days, you know, living off the grid, you know, like, it's, uh, it's like a little bit of a wild adventure. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Polo, do you want to say hi to someone or send a... Oh, say hi to my family uh, and uh, my children and also to all my... Uh, fellow fishermen out there um, wishing you the uh, wonderful and uh, productive fall and uh, winter season ahead and uh, hopefully you catch a lot of opalites a lot of rockfish cabazon uh, scorpion and also you know don't don't forget also there might still be some spot fins uh, and yellowfin croakers out there and uh, so you know i uh, hope you enjoy your time uh, with what God has provided, and I consider all fishes that uh, that we catch this to be, you know, uh, God's blessings, and it's a blessing out there to be a fishing. Okay, I 
and uh, from me hi to Mr. William or Mr. Aman the one gave me some fish bites uh, when I started fishing that guy is a nice guy too so we hope to see Mr. William fishing again soon and uh, this was with Mr. Paulus the one who gets big fish with uh, all the time slow yeah so now we got a open line so he's one of the best fishermen that uh, I know on the area, local fishermen for the uh, crystal beer also he's very good fishermen over there wow a nice one Mr. Polo uh, I know the mistake I made on the last cast because I didn't concentrate was that I did not set the hook this oh, time yeah. I set the hook and I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knee No stranger to pain It's never ending It's only Something I can't forget my yard won't let it rest Black. and now the fish is safe in the pool okay so this is what uh, uh, the story of Mr. Paulus the guy the one teach me use fish right and uh, the guy the one who teach me fishing is Daniel Gomez that guy is the one teach me fishing but uh, Mr. Mr. Polo is the one teaching you fish white. There's another fisherman that side. So most uh, most things I learned from different fishermen, but the official uh, coach that one teach me was Daniel Gomez. And then I learned a little little bit by little by little from other fishermen. Like Mr. Polo. So that's the way you have to be nice to everyone and uh, sometimes you learn new things or maybe you have to teach them new things always to be open to learn from someone doesn't matter a new fisherman you want to learn something new but uh, when I start fishing I never thought that they want to learn from new people too but uh, we learn for everyone okay guys so see you bye bye Bye, Mr. Polo. Bye, and also uh, when you go fish on the rocks, uh, make sure you wear very good uh, shoes. And so I use uh, hiking shoes, right? Very important because it could be slippery. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, these are these are water pants and these are water jackets. That's what I wear. That's my gear. Not get wet. Yes. Yeah. And it's also like water socks. Well, oh Water my socks. god! I got this from Amazon. Ah. So because over here, when the waves are splash, and many times you know I, I got all wet, but you know I stay dry because of the water clothing. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna make a video for the shoes very soon, and we already have the hood shoes for uh, for Jerry or for Shane. The shoes for uh, everywhere. So the next, uh, I hope next video or next week I'm gonna post the video for the shoes and once the company allow me also and there's a very nice shoes to show up on the videos for sale. Okay, bye bye.
there's no air left to breathe I'm drowning Vultures are circling me Around it I need to fight, I know It's just so hard to let it go Shine a light I can see Something I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving Admit that I'm afraid If I let go 